Hey, yo, what up? It's the Rap Mogul, Tef Illuminati. And right about now, you watching DME TV. Shit. My dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tef Illuminati, what's good? What's good, my G? Finally. Finally, is what Finally, I'm about to say. Finally, man. Took, took a year. Yeah, took a year. But well, yeah. you know, this, how they say, man, great things come, you know what I'm saying? It might take a while, but they come. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a reason, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, we're going to get in this thing, man. I know. I think I saw your interview on DJ Small Eyes. And yeah. I was like, damn, who this dude is? Yeah. And I went, that's checked him out, checked him out, started following you. Then we, I don't know, we connected and started talking and whatnot. So yeah. it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's long overdue, bro. Yeah, man. man, so let's, let's, let's get a backstory on it, man. How you started out in this music thing, man? Well, um, I started out early, man. I jumped off the porch really early. Um, I got signed when I was 12 to an independent um, company that, um, you know, pretty much had major distribution. Okay. So, you know, um, it was with my group Raw Damage at the time. So, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty big locally. Um, and it, I guess that would, I would consider my real true start from really getting into the business from there, you know? Okay. How long you been going at it? And I've been going in. And I mean, like, I say rapping all my life, which was like the actual business. I mean, the business, rapping, because you got a lot going on. Like, like I said, I follow you because I saw all the things you're doing actor, yeah. director, artist, yeah. designer, yeah. label CEO. Yeah. Um, I've been professionally doing it since 12. Okay. Professionally, but I've been rapping since third grade. Okay. Tell the people where you're from, man. I'm from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. You know, small town off of 95. You know what I'm saying? So when you come through North Carolina, you got to come right through Rocky Mountain. Okay. Okay. So How's the music scene in Rocky Mountain? Um, honestly, now it's, it's, it's crazy. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you know, it's really bubbling. But when I first started, it wasn't no scene. So who, so who was on the scene when you when you came through? Like when you when you started getting into it, and who, who was on the scene? Uh, it was a couple OGs rapping, but uh -huh. nobody did it like I did. Right. Like, I was the first, you know, in my city, in the 252 period. Okay. Right, to to really go take this thing, really, really say, okay, I'm a rapper. I really do this for real, for real. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, I was the first. You know, okay. Pete, everybody thought Pete Pablo was the first. No, he wasn't. Pete, right. Pete Pablo came 10 years later. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? You know, just let, you know, to clarify, you know, certain things. Because people think, oh, Pete Pablo was the first. No, he wasn't. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was me, Yak Food Front. Um, who else? There's a couple of the guys I'm probably, you know, leaving out, but you can Google these guys, Yak Food Front, um, you know, um, myself. You know, it was a couple of guys. We was the first ones in North Carolina. Yak Food Front was actually the first group to get a record, a major record deal out, out of the Carolinas, period. Okay, who they got that record deal with? Uh, uh, MCA. Okay. So it's been what, what like this what time? Nineteen ninety. Okay, it's been the nineties. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this nineteen ninety. So it's like so that's for those who don't know, Carolina history, North and South Carolina, the Ag Food Front was the first group to get signed out of Carolina's period. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at what time did you you know you establish R C R? Um, right after my deal with Sawa, I was sixteen years old. Um, but that deal was with. It was a company called, I don't even want to beat them up. Okay, okay, you know okay. <laughs> but that's like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they kind of did me dirty, so I don't want to, I don't right. want to get them no clout. Right. But uh, it was a small company, you know, in my city. Everybody know who they was. Okay. And um, they, you know, they, you know, they kind of did me dirty. So, you know, they kind of took what I, what I created and took what I, at the time I didn't know the business. I was just, I just wanted to rap. Right. Be a star like everybody else. Right. You know, so I wasn't focused on, I was, but I wasn't. Okay. And and this was a situation where I, you know where they kind of took my label from me, okay. my group my group from me. Okay. And at that point, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start my own label. Okay. You know? So so that that did that make you go ahead and listen? I'm I'm gonna learn this yes, music thing. Yes, yes, definitely force me to force you to okay. force me to like I was already learning along the way. Right. Anyway, so by by the time I started my own label, that was why I was able to start my own label because I kind of knew. The, the ins and out of the business because I used to be with the CEO who I was signed to all the time. Okay. In the meetings with him, going to, you know, in the Universal, going to this place. I used to be with him. 
Okay. So I used to see everything. So I was like, okay, okay. I, could, I could do this. Okay. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just nothing. Okay. So the label has grown. Who are you? The only artist under the label? Or? Um, no, no, no. I have um, Prince Roy and Al Unique. I have an artist by the name of Fonte Santana that's coming real soon. He's a young cat. Um, I got a couple other artists that I know pretty much I'm developing, but you know I don't really have a big roster. The reason why, and this is the reason why, it's not like I can't find talent. I'm a realist. See, when you've been in it, as long as I have in this business and spent the money that I spent, then you know, like, to promise a whole group of guys, I'm taking all y'all with me. That's not realistic. And I did that. Like, no, hey, come on, man. How, how can you honestly put out 10, 10 other guys? And you got a million dollars. You got a million dollars. You got two, three, you, got, you got two or three million. Hell yeah, you good. But if you ain't got that, why even fool yourself or fool the people or even fool them to even think that you can take care of all of them? So what I do is I say, you know what? I'm going to take two or three guys that I know who down, who solid, 10 toes, and I'm going to build with them and I'm going to work with them and build up. And then whatever come after that, it comes. So who does you know, the, the engineering and the production? Oh, me. I do, I do everything. Um, most of the production, though, on the label, South Carolina's finest, for those who don't know, A. Blaze, the architect. If y'all don't know who A. Blaze, the architect is, you need to do your research. When you think of Davies, the new project Davies has put out, go read the credit. South Carolina should stand up. The two singles that he put out, A. Blaze produced. You know what I'm saying? Like Carolina, Carolina producer produced that, but well, people don't know that. We, got, we got a lot of gems, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, For real. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? We got a lot of gems. People just don't. And, and then it's not like you know you, you can read credits like you know, yeah. Like don't, they don't yeah, give the producer. They don't get a producer no more credit. Yeah, credit but that's why I, I'm letting people know because right. you know what I'm saying I'm putting it out there because brothers need to be uplifted. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like he he's done his his track record is tremendous. Like I checked him out. I think you had shot him out. Did he? Which which record he did for you recently? Oh, he man, eighty five percent of my music. Okay, he, he do eighty five percent of my music from day one, from day one, from my first album, Red Pill, Blue Pill, mm -hmm. all the way up to now. I've been working with him all this time. Okay, right. how, how, how many albums you got out there? Um, I got about I'm gonna say albums. I say projects. Okay. But, I got about fifty six projects out. Okay, um, and that's including singles and right. uh, actual whole projects, mixtapes, you know, albums and stuff. So a total of a, a body of work that I put out, it's about fifty seven. Eight men makes fifty seven. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. So man, you, you got a lot of work here, but like I said, that's why I wanted you to come through. You know what I'm saying? Man, I appreciate it. I, I I know you, you movies. Yeah. Yeah. Movies. You got another movie on the way? Yep, actually called Savage. Okay. Yeah, Savage. Savage is gonna be the movie. Um, um I wrote it, directed. Um basically it's about a guy uh who's who whose parents was in the military, he has a military background. You know how it is when you travel around you know the country, you know what I'm saying? You finally settle down, you move to a city, and um he's a new guy and, and pretty much he moves to a, a, a hostile neighborhood and it gets it gets real ugly. He he goes through a lot of things, you know, to try to survive in that neighborhood. But you know, he turns into a savage. Put it that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that people gonna like it because it's a it's a real meaning behind the story, not just a bang bang shoot him up movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to. It's an actual story. It's line. an actual storyline. You know what I'm saying? About things I've seen or experienced myself. Okay. And I put it. I incorporated put it in the movie. Okay. Okay. So I mean, so what's next with Tip? I know you have a new single you about to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got the Amen uh, EP. Yeah. Amen EP. So um, right now after Amen, Amen was a completion of um, seven years. Uh, I mean, seven project in one year. Right. No That's last year. Right. Last year. Right. So uh, I didn't see no other artist in history done that. Nobody, independent or major. So I said, hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? People say, you know, I, you know, I hear the haters talking. They say, well, he ain't working. He ain't doing this. But where's your eyes at? And you fully independent, too. You know, and I'm fully independent. See, it's cool when you got, no disrespect to any artists out there, man. Cause I love all y'all, man. Like, we all try to make it. So don't take this no, no, no way wrong. But there's a lot of people that got help. 
Me, I didn't have him. I didn't have the big homie. I didn't have the girlfriend, you know, the cosign and, you know, to get my stuff. The $400,000 I spent in this business, I spent it. Nobody else. 300,000 records I've sold. I sold them. A chunk of my car. Because I didn't care about the image, the clout, what people thought. Because I understood the, the business. A lot of these guys, they cap it. You see them online, you see them on IG, I'm stuck. Oh, look at me, look at me. And then as soon as the camera turn off, you don't see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I rap about it, it's real. And, you know, I represent those guys. I represent guys like you from the mud. We ain't had nothing. I, hey, I saved up everything I had and, and, and put into this thing. That's what type of artist I am. So <clears throat> a lot of people take it wrong when I, you know, I, I don't diss J. Cole, I don't diss Petey Pablo, none of it because everybody is needed. But at the same time, I want to make a, a clear distinction between me and those type of artists. You had OPM, other people's money. I'm self-made. So of course you can brag when you don't, when Jay-Z done gave you a shitload of money. You got marketing and promotion and, and, and you know and, and all this stuff behind this machine behind you. Of course you can get on record and talk all this slick, 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 and all this stuff. But where was that at? I didn't see you on the street promoting. I didn't see you at the, at performing at the South Carolina Music Awards with me, Nalak, uh, 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 Pacino, Dino, <laughs> you know, so the real G's of South Cat. I didn't see you there. South Carolina don't know who you are. And so but when I say this, I'm a hater. People say, oh, Jeff, you a hater for saying that. How can I be a hater for being real, man? <coughs> this is what people don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about this. Like, no, Peter Pablo had help. He got signed. He had a major record deal. He got $1.5 million. Okay? MOS, $1.5 million. Okay? I didn't have that. I sold everything. Whatever, whatever you see right here, this is all me. I don't have no investors, no, no help. So... I want the guys to know, I did it, the people, especially the people coming up and the guys are coming up to know, like, look, bro, forget what people say, man. Get out there and do it and, and you can make it happen because look at myself, I did it, man, like, you know, with no help. And I sold 300,000 records. So some people, that might not be nothing. But for me, be independent on my own label, man, you know what I'm saying? I, it's something to me. It might not be none of you, but, <laughs> but it's something to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. So, so, so what's what's next, man? What's your next move, man? I, I know you got some big moves planned. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah man. You know, bosses know. always had big yeah, moves yeah. planned. You know what I'm saying? We got TK Venetia, the clothing line. Okay. You know that you see me wearing right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got, uh, you know, of course, the movies. Uh, also got a... Uh, let me see, should I talk about it? I'm mean, gonna need one of the parts in the movie, man. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. I want you, you to be a quick cameo. Movie. Oh, quick yeah, cameo. definitely. <laughs> definitely. I would love to have you in a movie, bro, because I want to showcase real people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so people can really relate to you. Like, yeah, I remember when he first came up. That's the, Those are the people I want to relate with me because I, I, I'm representing a self made, ground rooted movement. This right. is not, this is from the dirt. You know what I'm saying? We all from the dirt, that clay, as we say in the Carolinas. Exactly. We from that clay. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, you know, that's what it's about. So definitely, I definitely want to have you in it, man. Um, what else we got coming, man? We got so much I'm working on. Um, we got the clothing line. Um, I'm about to open up a boutique. Okay. You know what I'm saying? TK Venetia Boutique. Okay, where, where that going to um, be located? One is in Wilson, North Carolina. Okay. We'll have one in Rocky Mountain, one in Raleigh. Okay. Working on one in Atlanta. Right. And we just gonna start small, you know right. what I'm saying? Just yeah. those those couple spots right now. Start small, you know. Of course, online, you know. Of course, everybody can always go yeah. to the website yeah. and order from there. Yeah. But um, um, we got a couple other things tech or you know, kind of on the tech side that's gonna kind of shock a lot okay. of people. Keep us in touch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you Keep know, I'm, I'm working. I don't want to give it all the way. Yeah, right yeah. Now, yeah. But, I understand but, that. But it, I understand. Just that. know, 2019, 2020, you're gonna see a lot of tech over there. Yeah. So man, how how can people get in contact with you? Oh, always, man. Um, you know, IG, Twitter, uh, what else? Uh, my Snapchat is all the same. It's at I am Tef. I am Tef. I A M T E F. You know what I'm saying? Also got the website triple W I am Tef dot com. 
Um, they, you can always hit me on there, you know, cop product, book me through the site, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that's my official website. It's imtef.com. Okay. Yeah, all right. Anything you want to leave the people with, man? Give a shout out. Um, definitely want to give a shout out to the whole Carolina movement, man, like North and South Cat. Um, I want to say to the to the South Carolina brothers, reach out more. To my North Carolina brothers, reach out to South Carolina more. You see what I'm saying? Like, we need unity. There is no, I always looked at, like, the Carolinas as one. It's like Carolina with a line divided in between. Okay, and just north, and this is just south. But it's all the same. It's all the same. So let's encourage each other. Let's, let's you know, let's motivate. Let's push, man, because, you know, we have restored enough. You know, I, I've definitely destroyed enough, you know, coming up in the streets and, you know, and doing the stuff that I did. So, you know, I just want to, you know, tell artists to, to really just just be on some positive, man. Like, let's change the, let's change the dynamic. You know, the view of, of people looking at us as artists and businessmen in the Carolinas, period. Yeah. So, you know, man, salute to everybody. Salute to Baby. Salute to Cole. Salute to Petey Pablo. To every, matter of fact, I forgot the new cat that just got signed out of North, out of South Carolina. It's a new guy that, that's down with the baby. He just got signed. Um, Black Zach. Yeah, Black, Black Zach. Zach. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else, man. Brittany Vucci, too, man. Shout out to Brittany yeah. Vucci, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know what I'm saying? She definitely pushing, man. But uh, yeah, man. That's what's up. Hey, dog. Appreciate you coming all the way down. You know what I'm saying? And and rocking with me. You Already, know what I'm saying? bro. On, on DME TV on the Black Couch. Oh yeah, man. I glad appreciate it, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you had me. You always in the loop, though. So you always in the loop. So I know what's going on with you. I know you know what's going on over here. So. Already, already. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.